Hi, I'm Kurt Fry. In this video, I would like to show you how to use a tool in Microsoft Excel that not enough people know about. And that is the Insert Screenshot tool, where you can insert another window from your computer, or you can select a part of a screen. And in this movie, I will show you how to do both of those things. I have opened a blank workbook, so you can just open up Excel and get to work along with me, but you also need to open a web page. And I'll press Alt-Tab to move over to my company's homepage at techsoch.com, and this is my index page. So you can see here all of the information that I provide. Ah, I need to update the copyright date. Good note. So I'll switch back to Excel, pressing Alt-Tab, and I will go to the Insert tab on the ribbon, and then in the illustrations group, I'll click screenshot. Your screen might look slightly different based on the resolution of your monitor, but this is a fairly typical view here. So just look for screenshot. So I'll click there, and I can either add an available window, or I can do a screen clipping. Here's what happens if I add an entire window, and it shows the current view. So we have here, and then if I drag down, it resizes the image, but it doesn't scroll. So the last two moves that I made resized the image, but it did not change how much was displayed. And so I'll do Control Z and Control Z. So this is everything that shows in the current window. And I see individual and corporate levels at the end. If I do Alt-Tab again, that is exactly what I see here in this window. So Alt-Tab to go back. Now, let's suppose that I just want to grab a part of a web page or any other application. For that, I can click away from the other image and then I'll do Insert, Screenshot, and then Screen Clipping. If you click screen clipping, it will take you to the last window that you were in. So you need to make sure that you go directly from where you want to get the image back to Excel. Otherwise, you will need to try it again. I'll click screen clipping, and that takes me to the techsoch.com page. And here, you can see that the image is gray. That means nothing is selected, however, if I were to just select techsoch.com and release, then that is what is entered into my Excel workbook. And also because it's an image, I can save it. So if I right click techsoch.com, the image I just copied, I can click save as picture. That will take me to my pictures folder and I'm here inside of my techsoch folder and I'll double click in Fundamental Skills. And instead of picture number one, I'll say TechSoch logo, or actually it's not even my logo, it's just the URL. And I can save as a type. It's currently PNG or Portable Network Graphics file, which is perfect for web use. But if I click the down arrow, I have other file types to select from. In this case, I'll just stay with a PNG file, click Save and it has been saved to my computer. I really like the built-in screenshot tool in Microsoft Excel, and it's also available in other Microsoft Office programs. Just look for it on the Insert tab of the ribbon, and you will be able to add images from Windows that are currently open on your computer. I hope you enjoyed this tip, and if you did, please like the video and subscribe to my channel.